will come a time when black people wake up and become intellectually independent enough to think for themselves as other humans are intellectually independent enough to think for themselves then the black man will think like a black man and he will feel for other black people and this new thinking and feeling will cause black people to stick together and then at that point you'll have a situation where when you attack one black man you are attacking all black men and this type of black thinking will cause all black people to stick together and this type of thinking also will bring an end to the brutality inflicted upon black people by white people and it is the only thing that will bring an end to it no federal court state court or city court will bring an end to it it's something that the black man has to bring an end to himself not an isolated incident. It is a continuum of cases and situations that have been going on for decades and decades and decades. These are just chapters in a book. And the title of the book is Continuing Injustice and Inequality in America. And these are just chapters. The chapter started Modern day, Rodney King in Los Angeles, 1991. Abner Lawima in New York, 1997. Amadou Diallo in New York, 1999. Sean Bell in New York, 2006. Oscar Grant, Oakland, California, 2009. Eric Garner, New York City, 2014. Michael Brown, Missouri, 2014. Laquan McDonald, Chicago, 2014. Freddie Gray, Baltimore, 2015. Antoine Rose, Pittsburgh, 2018. Ahmad Aubrey in Georgia, 2020. Breonna Taylor in Kentucky, 2020. George Floyd in Minneapolis, 2020. That's, that's why the outrage. That's why the frustration and the anger. It is not about one situation. It's about the same situation happening again and again and again and again and seeing the same thing and not learning the lesson. Well, I'll put it another way that uh, <clears throat> morally, I was led to nonviolence because I felt that it was the best moral way to deal with the problem. We were seeking to establish a just society. And uh, it was my feeling then and it is my feeling now.